uh, what you're going to be doing is you're going to use all of the peaches and syrup from the first can of peaches and you're not going to really need the syrup from the second can of peaches so you're going to drain the syrup from the second can of peaches unless you like a lot of syrup okay so only use the syrup from the first can of peaches and drain the syrup from the second can of peaches you're going to get a really really big mixing bowl because we got to mix these ingredients together and you're going to pour all of the peaches and juice from the first can into the bowl uh if you feel like you need a little more juice then you can go ahead and add you know um the juice from the second can of peaches but those are our beautiful peaches look at them they look so beautiful Mm, I want to just eat that syrup right now. I want to drink the syrup. The syrup just looks so delicious right now. I'm a little hungry, so, you know, excuse me. But I actually drained some of the juice from the second can, and now I'm just pouring the, uh, the peaches from the second can into the bowl as well. And make sure that you follow these uh, measurements, guys. As I said, I'm just telling you guys the standard and the recommended uh, and suggested measurements to use. But if you want to add more sugar, you can add more sugar. How much ingredients you want to add is totally up to you. I'm just telling you the recommended amount of ingredients. So we're going to start off with one-fourth. One-fourth cup of white sugar. One-fourth cup of brown sugar. Okay. Like I said, some people don't like very, very sweet peach cobbler. So if you feel like that's too much, then don't add all of that. You feel like you need more, you can add more. And we're going to stir that in first. I like to stir in my sugar before I add uh, the other ingredients. So I'm going to give my sugar a stir. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add one teaspoon of cinnamon. If you like a lot of cinnamon, you can add more. But the recommended amount is to use just one teaspoon. Okay. You want to only be using a small amount of nutmeg. Some people don't even use any nutmeg. We're going to use a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Nutmeg is really, really strong. If you use a lot, it will overwhelm the peach taste. And it'll taste like sweet potato pie or that's why you don't want to use too much cinnamon or a whole lot of nutmeg all right we're going to use one teaspoon of vanilla extract only going to use one teaspoon of vanilla extract and we're going to use one teaspoon to one and a half teaspoons of lemon juice i like the taste of lemon i like the taste that it give my peach cobbler so I usually add about two to three teaspoons, but, you know, that's totally up to you guys. But I would just recommend that you add one and a half teaspoons of lemon juice. Not everybody like a lot of lemon juice. I like that lemon flavor. We're going to give this a stir, one final stir. And we're going to place this in our pot so that we can get a really nice thick syrup. See that syrup is kind of loose. We want it to thicken up. You want to place one stick of butter in your pot, and you're going to put your pot over high heat okay place your, your pot over high heat high heat okay and we don't have to wait to this melt we're just going to go ahead and add our peaches it's going to melt anyway you know what some people do is they actually add their peaches first and they melt the stick of butter and add the melted butter to the pot of peaches but it really doesn't matter it's all going to blend in the same add two to three tablespoons of cornstarch and see how it's thick now that's the way your cornstarch thickens up your syrup you want your syrup to be almost like a gel you want to create like a pastry gel but look at that it look really 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 delicious mmm nice and thick and the syrup gelled up and thickened up a lot peaches are cooked as well we're gonna go ahead and get a big bacon pan okay you want to use a small bacon pan or you only want to make uh, two small baking pans you can do that we're going to get our first roll of pie crust and we're going to flatten that out what you're going to do guys before you add the second layer is you're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and allow your oven to get hot for 10 to 15 minutes before placing this dish of peach cobbler in the oven you want your oven to get really hot okay so don't place this into a cool oven all right you have to make sure that the oven is hot before adding 
the uh, dish of peach cobbler. Make sure it's hot, okay? Now, if you want that dumpling effect, what you can do is you can actually ball up some pie crust. I don't have enough. That's why I didn't add any. Ball up some pie crust and just throw little balls of pie crust into the peach cobbler if you like a, a lot of dough in your peach cobbler. You want that real doughy, you know, look and taste, then add... Uh, just ball up some some remaining pieces of uh, pie crust and just throw it in there and stir it up with the peaches. Now I'm going to add my last layer of uh, pie crust and I'm just going to flatten it out. Okay, just flatten it out, spread it out. I don't do any really funky designs, you know. Um, I keep it simple. What I do is I actually just like put some lines through it, you know, with my knife. And that's pretty much it. I don't do um, anything too fancy. Okay. So our oven is preheating still. By the time we get done doing all of this, the oven should be uh, pretty hot. And how long you bake this is, uh, you know, just until the, the top turn brown. When the butter that we're pouring on there now, you want to use about a half a stick of butter. Okay, and you're going to pour that on the top. And that is basically just going to help the pie crust brown. Sometimes pie crust take a very long time to brown. And just to give the pie crust some flavor and taste, you're going to sprinkle just about like a teaspoon of white or brown sugar on top. Okay. So you want to bake this until the top is brown. No specific time. Just bake it until the top is brown like this. And when the top is brown like this, you're going to remove it from the oven. Okay, so as you can see, the top is nice and brown, and the peach cobbler is done. It's all done, and that's the way it looks. It looks absolutely delicious. And I would have done more of a little design if uh, I had more pie crust. I only went to the store and got uh, one box of pie crust. I wish I would have got a little more, but this looks absolutely delicious. Um, I like the way it looked. Um, I like my my top to be just a little crunchy. It's not too crunchy, but you can tell it's a little crunchy. But look at that. Absolutely delicious. Um, I just wanted to show you guys how to make peach cobbler. I know that there are a lot of uh, videos already covering this um, recipe. But just wanted to show you guys how I make my peach cobbler. We're going to get a slice. Look at those peaches. Mmm. And that syrup. It kind of thickened up, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, it, it, it looks really, really good. The reason why it's kind of flat and not really big is because of the pan we use. We use a long plant pan. But those peaches look absolutely delicious. You can see a little bit of that nutmeg and a little bit of that cinnamon. But, folks, I got to ask you. I, I, I have to ask you, Philly Boy J has to ask you a question. What is peach cobbler without vanilla ice cream it ain't nothing i said nothing without a big scoop of vanilla ice cream you can use whatever kind of ice cream you want i can't eat it without vanilla ice cream and you have to add some creamy whipped cream okay you can use some cool whip yeah i like cool whip but i like whipped cream a little better it's just a little different this one kind of sprays out squirts out like that shh look at that absolutely delicious folks uh this is is beautiful you know i had to put it on my little infamous white paper plate and <laughs> my little ghetto paper plate i don't feel like washing dishes folks if you ain't gonna wash dishes for me don't say a word absolutely delicious try this recipe out folks do as i say let me take a bite of that it tastes really good guys and the ice cream just oh. I you know I I don't even want to don't even give me any peach cobbler without vanilla ice cream there's nothing without vanilla ice cream you know they need to add this to the actual uh, recipe happy Thanksgiving folks